Hey everybody, how you doing? God bless you. This is Brett Hancock. Um, I had a sister in Christ ask me some questions about the dangers of cell phone radiation and using cell phones and what's the difference if you put it in, on and off uh, airplane mode, you know, uh, got the 4G network out there now and even 4G LTE and then very soon 5G is going to be out there. Is that more dangerous? And all this kind of stuff and so I was thinking about you know sending her a response back you know and use one of these talk apps that we use and then I said well you know I'll just make a video and uh, put it on my blog and it'll help other people too because I'm sure a lot of people have these kind of questions and stuff so um, I mean I am by trade electrical engineer so I got a little bit of knowledge on it but I'm not an RF engineer you know you know expert or anything so uh, but I would definitely share my insight so um, what I do is uh, anytime I put my phone in my pocket or whatever, I always put it on airplane mode. Because basically this is what we got. Your GPS is a radio. Your cell phone is a radio. So you've got two radio antennas inside your phone, both receive and transmit. But, you know, the transmit ones, whenever you uh, turn the GPS on, then the transmit GPS is emitting RF radiation at the GPS signal, right? Similarly with the cell phone network. Um, if you have that, if you don't have it in, uh, you know, airplane mode, you know, and it's act, the cell phone is active, it's emitting RF radiation in the transmit direction. As far as in the receive direction, if you don't even, because she was even asking, well, is it, maybe I shouldn't even have a phone or whatever. In the receive direction, all this radiation is hitting us all the time. The closer you are to any towers, um, as far as GPS, you can't do anything about it. It's the satellites in the sky and stuff. Um... But as far as cell towers, the closer you are to a lot of towers, you're getting hit with a lot more radiation. If you're in rural areas where the signal is really bad, well, the benefit that you have, you know, from a biological or from a medical standpoint is you're not subjected to as much radiation as people that are around, and, you know, that are enjoying the great signals um, are actually getting, you know, a little bit more cooked than, uh, than you are out in those rural areas and stuff. So that's the benefit. Um, so there's always a silver lining with with the cloud and stuff. You've, you know, you've ever heard that little proverb or saying before or whatever. So uh, hopefully that helps you. I mean, you could just think of it as um, even if you have your phone on or off, airplane or whatever, you know, you're going to have that hose or that fire hose. Or you can even think of it as a game of catch when you're transmitting your signal from your phone, whether it's, um, well, no, you can't transmit GPS. So you can only receive GPS signals. But... Um, but it's transmitting cell um, signals, then you're throwing the baseball to somebody else. Um, but, it, you know, as far as receiving and you catching the signal, you know, has to do with, you know, whether you're, um, you know, you're, uh, you know, actually receiving the signal or not when you don't have it in airplane mode or whatever. So if you have it in airplane mode, you know, then you're able to receive it, but you're also transmitting it as well. So... Uh, so hopefully that's that's clear that doesn't that's not confusing um, you know there's a lot of benefits to having these phones I mean I definitely enjoy them and stuff um, but as far as yes yeah, you know just being close to a lot of these cell towers and stuff is is going to be more dangerous than uh, you know than being far away and stuff um, you know I've, I've heard that um, where signals are good, you know, let's say you're out on the interstate and the signal's good, about every two miles they're placing these cell towers and stuff. Um, so when you're you're kind of, as you're driving along, you're hopping from cell tower to cell tower or whatever. So, um, uh, but you know, when the signal starts getting bad, they're further out and basically um, uh, in the not so rural areas, they're more of a point to more point transmission type um, you know antenna whereas when you're in the very rural areas um, just because there's just no money in it for the cell phone companies they use a different type of antenna um, I forget what they call it uh, Omni something but it's basically emitting in 360 degree direction it's transmitting you know radiantly in all directions um, in kind of the rural areas to try and cover everybody and the signal is just not as good and stuff so but I think to compensate for some of that, um, they're spread out a lot further apart. But they do, they are allowed, I think, to transmit a little bit higher power and stuff. So the higher the power, you know, and combination of that and the faster the signal, they would probably be a little bit more dangerous, you know, from a medical standpoint and stuff. So, um, 
you know, to me, it's like, you know, if, if your phone is transmitting a cell signal, you can do something about that. Either you power it down or you put it in airplane mode or whatever. As far as receiving it, these signals are emitting this. They're hitting this all the time. Whether you own a cell phone or not, it's not, it's not going to matter as far as receiving a signal and stuff. So your body is still getting hit with all this radiation and stuff, whether it's GPS or cell or, you know, FM radio signal, AM radio signal. Those are a lot slower frequency. They're not going to be as damaging um, or whatever. The higher the frequency in general, especially when you put it together with higher power, um, you know, uh, how do I say this in, in layman's terms? I mean, it's drastically going to be more dangerous and stuff. So, um, so, you know, somebody was asking me, you know, 5G versus the, well, just even, I'll just tell you, 3G to 4G, um, 4G is at least twice as fast as 3G. So it's going to be more, probably more dangerous. Um, even with 3G being to 2G, 3G is a lot faster than 2G. So 2G is not going to be quite as dangerous or whatever. Um, and then 4G to 4G LTE, 4G to LTE is a lot faster than 4G, so it's going to be more dangerous. I think they all use, and I don't want to get into confusing stuff here, but I think they all use the same carrier signal, which is 2.4 gigahertz, um, but the signal that's riding on there is faster. So maybe they're roughly almost the same. Maybe I, th I, th I think as you're going up, though, it's, it's probably more dangerous medically speaking or biologically speaking or whatever and then definitely uh, 5g is a lot faster so that's you know you enjoy the speed and all the benefits but it's probably going to be a little bit more dangerous to health and stuff so um so take that for what it's worth i don't want to put a panic out there or whatever i don't i'm not don't mean to say that i'm not saying hey anybody's going to get cancer from this stuff i mean i don't know i i've never studied at that level i don't know but i'm just saying at whatever level of danger it is whether it's really negligible or maybe it's slightly above negligibility i mean i couldn't even say maybe it's a little bit more than that i mean i, I don't know but i'm just saying relatively speaking from signal you know from 2g to 3g to 4g to 4g lte to 5g I mean, it's it's gonna be it's it's gonna be drastically as you're, as you're hopping up, you know, more dangerous and stuff. And as far as having a cell phone close to your body and stuff, and it's actually on or it's not in airplane mode, that's that is dangerous. So yeah, I always put mine in airplane mode before I put it in my pocket and stuff. So hope that helps you. God bless you.